Only about 4,000 snow leopards are left in the wild, and that's low enough to classify them as a vulnerable species. They roam across Central Asia, where climate change and poaching further threaten their survival. Most countries do not actively protect these big cats, but a program in the remote mountains of Russia and Mongolia is trying to save the local species, and it's working. Elizabeth Palmer visited the area to give us a rare look. In these remote Altai Mountains in southern Siberia, three decades of hunting and poaching had almost wiped out the snow leopard. In the village of Jazatar, we found Boris Markov, a former poacher. No, no, still Back in the day, he told me, just one pelt was worth a car. Our journey deep into Russia's Silugemsky National Park took us off-road and on horseback to meet park biologist and researcher Alexei Kuzlikov. He's part of an innovative program to bring the leopards back by shooting them with motion-triggered cameras hidden in the wilderness. The results are astounding. Intimate shots of animals so shy they do anything to avoid humans. Even Alexei has only seen a snow leopard once, though there's not much he doesn't know about their behavior, like the way they scratch to mark territory. Like domestic cats. And here's one caught on camera doing exactly that. Sergei Kirabyakov is another ex-poacher. He's still got one of the lethal wire traps used by locals. But Sergei has changed sides. He's just one of several former hunters getting a salary through the World Wildlife Fund to monitor the cameras. When you get the photo cards out, do you look at the pictures yourself to see what's there? Oh, yes. It's so interesting. I check right away to see if there are cubs. And often there are. Female leopards can have as many as four cubs in a litter. Alexei says that paying the former hunters and poachers a salary is key. But there's also been a sea change in attitude. So did everybody in the village want to see the photographs? They lined up. Local people who'd never seen a snow leopard before now know how beautiful they are. Back at the National Park headquarters, Alexei showed us more pictures from 120 cameras that have been snapping away night and day for five years. <laughs> it looks like it's peering around the corner. Oh, that's magic. Of course, Alexei has his favorites. He knows every single animal by its unique pattern of spots. This is not only a treasure trove for scientists, but thanks in part to the photo surveillance, poaching has virtually stopped. And there is very good news. In just five years, the population of the Altai snow leopard subspecies has roughly doubled, 45 so far, and counting. For CBS This Morning, Elizabeth Palmer in Altai, Siberia. <laughs> it's curious. It's very yeah. curious about what is Those, that? They're such beautiful, beautiful animals. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, they're so light. It's their eyes. Yeah. Well, what a great them. program to Thank you, Elizabeth Palmer. capture them in that sense.